I am so excited about these kits I bought from robinbetterly.com. I love buying kits from real artisans instead of mass produced kits. Let's see what's in here. First up is a giraffe wagon. I wanna make this look like an antique toy. I'll be assembling all of these kits on my channel, so please hit that subscribe button. This is from their little book house collection. It's a dollhouse for a dollhouse flanked with books. There are beautiful printed graphics to finish the book, but I'll probably be adding some moss and aging because I love customizing kits. For this witch's scale, I plan to make the wood look like rusted metal and add a little bit of sheen to the dial. I am so excited about this one. This is one of their famous secret books. They have a whole line of these where it, the spine of the book pulls out and there's a little scene inside. Here's a quarter inch scale kit from their Cranberry Cottage line. It's a 148 scale set of toys. I think this is the cutest thing. I can't imagine how fiddly this will be to put together, but I absolutely love it. There's a list of supplies needed and lucky for me, I already have an early American stain marker. I used this when I made my wine room box kit. Here's the first bit of furniture, this wall cabinet and little rustic cabinet. All the little accessories you see, including the bucket with lid, are included. I don't often buy pink things, but I couldn't pass up this little book house. I think this is the cutest little thing. I'm very curious what the door trim and door are made out of. I wish I had these tools when I completed my witch's cottage, which is a 148 scale cottage. I got this elephant so he can pull my line of circus animals. It has beautiful graphics on the back. I also have the lion kit and the zebra, so my circus will include my giraffe, elephant, zebra, and lion. I got this set of four birdhouses. I think these are so cute, and this one looks like a hobbit home, so I may modify that quite a bit. More rustic kitchen furniture from the Cranberry Cottage line. I'm really psyched about the little pantry boxes. This sweet Halloween cupcake kit even includes the little bowls. This little book house is actually a birdhouse. I'll be adding some moss and tiny details to this kit. These wall art items come with laser cut frames. This final kit is very unique and one of the reasons I love buying from artisans. The contents come in this little paint can, which is clear once you remove the label. The can doubles as a display for the diorama, and the kit includes items to assemble a miniature art space. This kit is a diorama for Mexican artist Frida Kahlo. Frida had polio as a child, so here is her 3D printed wheelchair. The kit includes these really tiny 3D printed jars and some of Frida's art printed on real canvas material. I will probably make some modifications to this kit, maybe try to make a clear lid, and also change up the floor. Dollhouse kits are so much fun and they allow you to create something using minimal tools while still leaving plenty of room for creativity.